Oh. Hey guys, how you doing? Ah, back here on today, 21st, 21st, July 21st, and I have had one heck of a week. Just like I've been going non-stop. Okay. So, I wanted to make a video earlier in the week about this. Not quite there. Alright, let's try that. I want to make a video earlier in the week, like as soon as this happened, but I figured, hey, save it for the show, because I'll actually have something to talk about. So, Monday night, me and my friends go out camping in a place called Pixar, which is maybe half an hour to an hour away from where I live. So we get out there, we get our tent set up, we, we had to have two tent sites because we couldn't put both our tents on one site because the people were weird like that. So we get our tent set up, me and my friend Chris, we set ours up behind the basketball court that was there and our other friends Joey, Jessica and Courtney set theirs up back in the woods a little bit. It wasn't really the woods, more like the trees. So anyway. This thing does not look right. Yeah, give that a whirl. What happens is, we're, it's Joey's birthday the next day. So, we're all staying up, having a fire, having some drinks, eats, all that good stuff. And then in the woods, you start to hear this little whimpering noise, and it's like, okay, what's that? And then it turns into a squeaking, so it's like, oh, maybe it's stunk. Well, we don't want to get sprayed, so naturally we move away from the fire and we kind of relocate to the side of the car, chatting, doing whatever that. Then we go back when we figure, okay, they got it out of the system. So, again, we're back, have some drinks and eat, have some time. Man! Hi. How's it going? Hey, Oh, sorry. Yeah, that was my mom. So anyway, we're sitting around the fire again, and the door starts up again. So we're just like, okay, this is getting weird. And by the time, we're kind of freaked out. So it's like, um, okay, why are things leaving us alone? Because there's some lights going on and everything. So we move away again, and then we think, well, maybe we should move the tent out a little bit so that doesn't happen. So, and we figure that the food and the drinks and stuff are attracting the animals. So Joey, my friend Joey, whose birthday was, he goes over and, like, starts gathering up the food stuff. And then we hear a hiss and then a growl. Like, it was audible. We, we were, like, ten feet away from the fire and we could hear it. It was clear as day. So, Jessica, Joey, no, sorry, Joey's getting stuck. Jessica, Courtney, and I pile into Jessica's car. Chris gets into his car, and then Joey comes bolting back to Chris's car. So, we're all freaked out to heck. So, something just growled. And so, what happens is, we decide, okay, let's get out of here before whatever's in the woods decides to come out. So, we, Chris and I pack up my tent, Joey, Jessica, and Courtney pack up the other tent as quickly as possible, and then we all drive back to Joey's place, and we camp out on his lawn, because he really wanted to camp out. Which is not bad. And all through the night, we are contemplating, oh man, what could that be, what could be? And my two favorite answers out of the whole night were my answer, or it's like a honey badger. Because I'm sure we've all seen the honey badger video. And, and they don't take no shit out of no one. And then Jessica thought it was an American sewer rat. One of those big giant ones. So the next day, Chris and I go back to our houses. Jessica, Joey, and Courtney drive back on the picto to see if, you know, they can get their money back for the faulty campsite with the animal. And I'll see it in my eyes. Yeah, that'll do. 
So I guess what it was was a coyote, which, when you think about it, is not as exciting as a honey badger or a moon sewer rat. So I was kind of disappointed by that. But now we know never to go back there, or at least never to get that site again. So that's what happened Monday, and then after that I went down to youth center to volunteer, because I do that as often as I can because I have no job. Yeah. So, Monday, I'm there and had a Tuesday, I'm there and had a Wednesday was my free day. I went out and I did some job hunting, which mm, wasn't exactly beneficial because, well, nothing popped up as anything ever does. Tuesday, or not Tuesday, Thursday, same thing, Friday, same thing. Friday we had um, two drop-ins at the center. One for ages 10 to 13, which is always a handful, and then ages 14 to 18, which is pretty laid back. Well, thankfully, juniors ages 10 to 13, there weren't too many of them this week. Praise the Lord. Because they can be a total handful. And then today, when I was at my friend's house, and we were playing Magic the Gathering, if the card game, if any of you know the game or play the game yourself, I won both times. First with my vampires, and then my green blue deck, which kind of kicks ass, I'm not gonna lie. And then. I waited around a while in town until it was 7 o'clock. Then I went down to the local community, not local, well, yeah, local, the local community college for um, East Coast Christian Fellowship for, you know, some fellowship time. Um, praise God. So that was my week. It was exhausting. What about you guys? What, what did you do? I know. Dream Team, Chad, Angie, you guys went to Comic Con. Um, I'm sure when you po put up your next YouTube video, you're going to be talking about that. Hopefully, you read one of my questions or on the show because I think you're probably going to tell it anyway, so you might as well just answer the question. <laughs> ah. And. Hmm. I, I did, for my own HalCon, which is in Halifax, in convention there, kind of like Comic Con, only not exactly, but still, it's a convention where you can dress up and stuff, so I got a little bit of my costume for HalCon. Actually, I got a little bit of both costumes. It's what, well, really, one, mm hmm, let's see here. I'm going to say I got a little bit of a co of one of my costumes because I got a fan pack to put like my phone and my wallet and my keys, I don't know, in there. So that can go with both costumes. And I also got red shoe covers because what I want to do is I want to go as Sonic Hedgehog. And he's got red shoes. Well, I don't have red shoes, so I get the shoe covers. And when you put the shoe covers on, it actually makes like he's got so like big round shoes like he does in games. So I'm looking forward to that. Ah. And also, you know, I've been talking with one of my friends and uh we're thinking about going cost hunting through town. <laughs> Yay, boring town and Kura, look out, we're gonna be cost playing. Ah. Well, anyway, that's my week. Um, haven't heard, haven't gotten any comments from you guys yet. I'm hoping I do soon because, like, I would really like some feedback from you guys. Like, how am I doing? Like, how how do you think I'm doing with this channel? Do you think I'm sucking? Do you think maybe I could do a little more of this, a little more of that? No, well, just give me some feedback, please. Post in the comments below because I would love to hear from you guys. Especially you, Chad Mandy. I would absolutely adore life if you guys would comment. Just saying. 
Uh, all right. Well, um, ten o'clock. So I'm gonna go and do my evening night um, stuff. Got my iPad here, so gonna go have some fun with that. All right, guys. Take care, and I will talk to you either throughout the week or next Saturday. Okay, bye.